That's, that's a pretty interesting question. I hope my dad's not watching. What's the least amount of effort you can put into a Father's Day present without spending any money? You'd be good at this because you don't like spending money. Bro, it'll be a text. Just sending Happy Father's Day ticks. Some toast? Make him some toast for Brecky? That is so... Is that a present? That is so bad. Well, that's so typical. You would just do that on the boat. Yeah. <laughs> that would be the... No, that's oh, Happy Father's that's Day. That's you put it in toast. effort. That's you put it in effort. That is some toast. <laughs> and then nothing after that. You can't, you can't beat the old pasta necklace. The old kid's pasta necklace. You know, you put the string through the pasta necklace. <sighs> yeah, like preschool. Yeah, yeah, look. Uh, <clears throat> Dad liked it this year anyway, so... Or maybe just the re-gift the present that you've been given. 100% a hug and say, I love you, Dad. I used to get some gifts from my father. Uh, well, non-gifts, actually. He used to say, mate, I'll give you my love. So for my father, he can get love sometime. That's that's enough. My dad loves golf, so I usually just give him some of the stuff that I get down, some hand-me-down, so I usually just give it to him then for Father's Day. I remember I got my dad a pack of chips when I was... Um, I was, must have been like year six or something. I only had about $2 in my wallet. I bought him a pack of chips, so it's probably an easy way to do it. Maybe just a text message is the, the bare minimum you can get away with on Father's Day, but um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing it. Your parents just one time. Yeah. They one time. So make some effort and give them some time. That's great, That's, 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 yeah, that's really deep. That's a good idea. That's really deep. Your dad starts asking questions about his iPhone. How do you get out of this conversation? Oh, it's torture. To try to teach all these about technology. I usually just tell dad that he's too old to be using the iPhone and he should go back to his Nokia. Oh, my dad asked him too many questions about his iPhone. Probably just walk away and just brush him to be honest. My dad wouldn't even know how to work yeah. an iPhone. I'm not gonna be straight up. Like, he's fresh as fresh. Pretend you don't know or tell him to look on Google. I'm with Android. Sorry, dad. Love you, but I just can't help you. Yeah, my old probably gets that mad if you don't explain something right and he gets it wrong. Right. Yeah. Do the mind straight to one of my kids. It's an easy one. Just give it to my wife. Oh, yep. Uh, <laughs> fake, <laughs> phone fake phone call. Um, oh, it's, I've got to go to the toilet, I'll be back. Out the front door, gone. Yeah. Your good mate sends out wedding advice and you discover it's on NRL Grand Final Day. What do you do? Obviously, you have to postpone the wedding. Yeah, you better push it on yeah. back, mate. <laughs> that's pretty, yeah, I thought it was pretty simple. If I wasn't planning it, um, probably tell him to wake up for himself and set another date. He's probably not your real mate, to be fair. You just gotta call him up, so man up. You just gotta be honest, can't be there. You gotta go to your mate's wedding, 100%. No, you gotta go to the wedding. I think, jeez, that's a tough one. If he's a great friend, I'm brushing the NRL grand final, I'm going to my best friend's wedding. I think you go to the wedding and you have KO on your phone. Yeah and you just watch it down beside the table. Well, hopefully I tell him I can't come because we're playing it. <laughs> you turn up with the, the wedding, but you get KO Sports on your phone and you watch it. Hopefully I'd be playing in it, but if I wasn't, um, I'd just go to his wedding and act like I was, no, I wouldn't act like I was interested, but I'd just go to his wedding. But the funny one is actually, Chico had his wedding on New Year's Day, so it ruined our New Year's. We had to go to his wedding. <laughs> I think you go to the wedding, but you make sure you have the KO app and you're watching the NRL through that. You know the drill, like, subscribe, and you'll always get the latest from KO.